On the agenda is a really pleasant one, being able to uh, present some uh, awards. And I'd like to hand over to Clive, our contest manager, to uh, announce what we're going to do. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to the contest and awards bit of uh, CAT 20. This year, the COVID pandemic has restricted our contest and activity operations, especially for those that operate portable. By creating two sections in the contest, one for home stations and the other for portable or roving uh, stations, it's been possible to have a level playing field for all parts of the country, irrespective of the local COVID regulations. Participation in contests and activity weekends has recovered from the initial interest in QO100. And despite COVID, many of the events have been well supported. A couple of highlights were no GTZ's portable entry in the IARU contest that saw him come second in the European Section 2, and the Dutch 2 meter DATV experiment, during which G4YTV received the first pictures from another country outside the UK on that band. Participation in contests and activity weekends is essential as it gives us easily verifiable proof of the use of the spectrum that we have access to. The pressure for more spectrum for commercial use continues to increase, so we must justify our presence by using it. To further encourage activity, there will be more trophies and some cash prizes for the winners of future events. The next opportunity to grab a prize will be the Christmas Repeater Challenge. Running from the 24th of December, 2020 to Sunday the 3rd of January, 2021 inclusive. Again, there will be £100 for the repeater group that can generate the most activity. And that's obviously very valuable to repeater groups um, whilst uh, the pandemic's on and uh, income from subscriptions and such like is uh, quite badly affected. This year, instead of submitting a log, entrants will be able to use the same ladder system that we used on the BAT website for the lockdown competition in the spring. In parallel with the challenge, we'll run a cumulative competition for terrestrial, satellite and repeater contacts. There are no prizes for this, but just bragging rights for those that do very well. The next activity weekend is tomorrow. Uh, the 25th of October, and that's focusing on 70 centimetres and 23 centimetres. Following that, on the 19th and 20th of December, is an activity weekend, primary for 13 centimetres and up. Now the prize giving. The spring lockdown competition was won by Arthur G4CPE, and he has received his prize of £100 and certificate earlier this week. In second place was G8XTW, recipient of £50 and a certificate. And finally, in third place was Jim, G7NTG, who has received £25 and a certificate. Moving on to more recent competitions, the trophy for the winner of the August 2020 2 metre and 70cm contest and the winner's trophy for the September 2020 6 metre and 4 metre contest both go to Dave Robinson, G4FRE, stroke portable. And now over to Dave, who's going to do the presentation. Okay. Um, always a pleasant task is to uh, present uh, the prizes. Uh, Dave G4FRE won two of these contests and gets the marvellous, uh, I feel like doing the, it's like the pointless trophy, the, um, the glass BATC trophy. And by the magic of Zoom, I will now present this trophy to Dave. Uh, congratulations on winning both contests, Dave. <laughs> we can't hear you, Dave. Ah, oh, that might be better. Nope. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I've lost you, Dave. Uh, 
his end. Anyway, Dave's got the trophy. Well done. And I, I believe Dave has to rush off to do another HF contest this afternoon. So a real keen contester, but really good to have you on TV, Dave. It's um, good to see you out on every activity day, which is marvellous. So uh, the contest, the um, uh, the prizes are there. The main incentive is to get people on the air. That's what it's all about. So uh, please uh, make the effort even tomorrow. I know it's going to be raining. Turn your home station gear on and have a look on 70 SEMS. Uh, see if you can get anybody there. Um, I'd like to uh, thank Clive for running the contest during the year and also to Phil, who's written the Phil M0DNY, who wrote the software for the uh, ladder. It makes things a lot easier. I know that uh, spreadsheet isn't the easiest thing in the world. OK, um, the final uh, presentation I have to do um, is the Grant Dixon Trophy, the Grant Dixon Award. This is award f awarded for um, the person who c contributes most to CQ TV or Amateur TV during the two year period between BGMs. Now we're not actually doing a uh, BGM uh, this year because we don't need to do one till next year and we would like to do one in person, but we decided it was appropriate to uh, give the award anyway. And uh, this year, I'm really pleased to say that the Grant Dixon Award goes to Heather Lomond for her work on writing the Longbin software for uh, a Linux DATV receiver. None of our recent uh, receive developments um, that would have been possible without her. That is the, uh, the receiver in the ports down or the receiver in the ride and that's really moved things forward so again by the magic of zoom i will uh, pass a tr the trophy across to heather and over to you heather oh thank you dave i like this magic <laughs> <laughs> oh it's really appreciated it's absolutely fabulous uh, uh, very unexpected and uh, i'm just glad that we we've, we've managed to get something good working on the receiver and I was particularly pleased to see the ride appear. It, the whole point about open source software is that it gets used and that's what it was about. OK, thank you very much, Heather. And uh, yeah, keep writing. We know you contribute a, a lot um, to the uh, to the community. So thank you very much for that code. And I must compliment you on the quality of it because I, I've been in there and played with a few bits and I can understand it, which is unusual. So that's really good. <laughs> Okay, right. Um, we will now take a short break and then we will come back at uh, 12.25 for the discussion on Portsdown. Now, what we're going to do there is we're going to unmute everybody uh, or allow everybody to unmute themselves and we can then go into a uh, qu question and answer discussion on the Portsdown for uh, 25 minutes. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll resume at twelve twenty-five. So time to recharge your glasses. Thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> 